Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well, and welcome to a return of the Importance Of series that I used to do on this YouTube channel. A lot of people loved it, and they wanted it back, and you know what? The renaissance of Willian's career, for me, dictated the perfect moment to bring back the series and talk a little bit about Chelsea's Brazilian number 10, who Frank Lampard seems to really fancy, and all these rumours about Willian's exit in the summer might not be true and maybe he'll get a new contract which is controversial in the Chelsea fanbase. So obviously an interesting talking point. There is an argument to be made against Willian or certainly has been throughout recent years but you know what he's a very talented player he always has been his work rate is unmatched apparently at the moment and super Frankie Lampard seems to really love him and we're going to talk about that all in today's video. A quick reminder before we get into the content for you there to subscribe to this YouTube channel for the daily uploads that you get on Football Therapy. Make sure you hit the bell and notifications icon so you get updated. And if you want to help your bro out, Jan, please do like the video. All right then, William, Chelsea's Brazilian creative winger forward who is supposedly over the bell curve, who has frustrated many Chelsea fans for a few years now. The forward that underperforms generally in the main meat and veg metrics of goals and assists. Fans of opposition teams have always looked at Willian and go, man, you've got Willian. Why do Chelsea fans don't like Willian? He's so good, man. Look at him. He scores these wicked free kicks, man. Willian, he's dope. Willian. A lot of Chelsea fans would be like, well, bro, you know, he doesn't actually score many goals. He's never scored more than this many goals. He doesn't really get many assists. You know what? He often dribbles down blind alleys. You know what? He's missed the pass. He hasn't passed when he should have passed, etc. I've always like sat on the fence really when it comes to Willian. Like I've always subscribed to the opinion that Willian's a very, very creative player indeed, which he is. He does a lot of key passes. He's got a good eye to see what's going on. And obviously he's incredibly gifted on the ball, like the sort of quintessential talented Brazilian footballer. But pre-season coming into this year, everyone would have assumed the same thing. Willian and Pedro Swansong might get a few minutes out next summer. Uh, Hudson-Odoi, Pulisic in, the new age of Chelsea wingers, and maybe even another one being bought, who knows? And to be honest, that could generally still be true. But the ethos of new Chelsea coach Frank Lampard is generally to play youth, but have sprinkled experience around the team, because that is so so important with any young team you need someone to sort of steady the ship and have a bit of like gamesmanship knowledge now i don't mean like shithousery gamesmanship i mean just know the game backwards don't lose your head stay calm throughout the 90 and chelsea have a few players like that people like Jorginho, as Pulaqueta. even marcus alonso deserves props for this kind of attitude on the pitch surrounded by youngsters but none less than willian now willian isn't a particularly senior figure in terms of like captain attributes not at all if anything he's maybe quite childish you can see him often being quite petulant on the pitch when something doesn't go right he throws his arms up only sometimes and that's frustrating but really he's a superbly experienced and professional player in the sense of senior experience i guess let me explain willian actually has a superb footballing intelligence and for all the sort of times he might frustrate spectators and you know not scoring goals generally or perhaps dribbling down an alley or not making a pass he actually is very very he's a very lucid footballer he always knows what's going on he always makes the right moves and you know what he's one of the most press resistant players you will ever see when he's on the wing and he's got the ball at his feet you don't ever think about this you don't ever get frightened that he's going to concede possession he'll pass it off he'll dribble around he'll wriggle out of any form of press and in many ways a lot like Eden Hazard can do he's very very good at that and obviously we know he's very good at combinations like the one twos sometimes it doesn't come off and a lot of the time that's not Willian's fault so in terms of offensive ball progression and retaining possession Willian is very very good Frank Lampard obviously knows this and he sees that as great value but you know what that's probably not the most important thing for Frank Lampard and for me as a Chelsea fan. Willian is a 90 minute player. He will press, combine, attack and track back for 90 minutes. And this is the guys in his 30s now compared to the kids. For example, Southampton, right? He was man of the match last time out for Chelsea. 
And in the 90th minute, this guy had been running all game. He was tracking back at like super speed to do defensive work. The kind of stuff that your manager wants to see. On this game at Southampton, Willian was superb. Like I said, man of the match. I actually tweeted this. As you can see on the screen is a tweet that I did about how Willian's stats were and metrics were in that game. How he was top of the pops for a lot of the metrics. And he was just a superb performer in that game. It was notable how he was basically just running the pitch in terms of fighting for the team. Like I said, he's not like a captain in terms of character, but in terms of leading by example, that is the standard. Now, Frank Lampard has made some comments on this. He's talked about how Willian has been Chelsea's best player over the last three games. He's talked about leading by example, and that really absolutely is the best way to do it. Sure, Chelsea have got loads of talented youngsters, you know, like Hudson Adoy being one, Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, but they all need to look up to Willian at the moment, how he's performing right now, and be like, this is the standard now. Enter Christian Pulisic. There was a lot of controversy regarding Pulisic and him not playing, and Lampard did make a few comments, quite like telling one, saying he'd spoken to him and he's explained the standard, and he doesn't really need to explain the standard anymore, he just needs to point at Willian and be like, bro, this is what you're coming up against. Now, Pulisic's incredibly talented, and his combination with Michy Bashwai in said Southampton game to get that goal was excellent from both players, actually, in terms of movement, combination, and finish by Bashwai. But we know Christian Pulisic is a super talented young player, and he is a hard worker, but perhaps he just doesn't have the tracking back, the constant pressing, the work rate that Willian is demonstrating at the moment. But the truth is, Pulisic is 21 years old, he's 10 years younger than Willian. He can sit comfortably at Chelsea knowing his time will come. Even if Willian does get a small contract extension, Pulisic, if he learns under Willian and continues his own sort of play style, I guess, because he's a bit different to Willian. He's similar in many ways, but obviously as a sort of new age player, he's a little bit different. Anyway, I digress. If he continues learning under Willian and seeing what Lampard wants, being demonstrated by Willian, he'll be in a sort of wonderful place to go forwards with Chelsea. A really important thing to note is every manager has seen great value in Willian. Think about it. Jose Mourinho, obviously, he bloody loved William. People like Chris Hiddink as well, obviously, loved him. Antonio Conte, now I know they fell out, there was the Brazilian issue and the trophy emoji thing, but he did play him and he did see great value in him. Maurizio Sarri, obviously, played William a lot and really liked his ball playing ability. And of course, Frank Lampard bloody loves him. And Jorginho as well, which is really nice to see. So, coaches have always, always valued William. Jose Mourinho really wanted him at Manchester United. Barcelona have been chasing him for a long, long time. World football appreciates what Willian does on the pitch. This is not to denigrate frustrated Chelsea fans because I've often been one myself. He doesn't output enough goals and assists and in a team often when you're struggling for goals and assists that is highlighted more but I suppose from a coach's perspective when you think about the game a bit more and you see what he's doing for you off the ball tracking back combining keeping possession moving the ball quickly you think well this guy is undroppable it's easier to appreciate it when you've got people like Hudson Adoy, Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham all these other players that can score goals now of course you know people like N'Golo Kante are scoring goals from midfield now and despite him not scoring he's still winning man of the match you know there's great value in this player. So where does that leave us with Willian at the moment? Because I, for one, thought his time was done at Chelsea. You know what? Maybe he is going to get a contract extension. He has spoken about this, or rather, Frank Lampard has spoken about this in press conferences when asked about it. And he said, no, that's between Willian, his representatives, and the club. So there is obviously talk about a contract extension. Personally, the way Frank Lampard has been waxing lyrical about Willian at the moment, I think it's probably Pedro, though, be out the door in the summer and he's actually a year older than William and I think William probably has been offered a one year 12 month extension like over 30s do but I reckon he's probably pushing for a two year extension and his performances are saying a lot and the fact how Frank Lampard really likes him he might be able to get that two year extension but that doesn't mean he'll be at Chelsea for two more years it might mean he's at Chelsea for 12 more months plays under Frank, sees through the sort of youth revolution. Chelsea still have a year in his contract, therefore he's got some resale value. Everybody wins, right? But like I said, it splits opinion and really it's a good thing this sort of renaissance in his career is happening because Chelsea are in a transitional period, they've got loads of young players, sure they're all talented and they're all chomping at the bit to play for 
Frank Lampard and Chelsea, but they need a player to lead by example in terms of work rate, and there's no one better at the moment in that position than Willian to do that for Chelsea. He's wearing the number 10, he does love the club, and he's been here for a long time, and he wants to impress the coach. This is a great position for Chelsea to be in, because even if he is just trying to get a contract out of Chelsea so he's putting on the afterburners, Frank Lampard isn't like other Chelsea coaches recently. He will have no problem dropping Willian and bringing in Pulisic if um, standards drop. He's very much a standards man, Frank Lampard. So, you know, if Willian doesn't perform, he gets dropped for Pulisic, simple as, and then he gets sold or whatever. So, the, you know, really, that's being a little bit pessimistic, but it's the truth, so there's no, perhaps, concern there. But really, it's all about the positives. It's about Willian leading by example, showing Christian Pulisic the work rate, the standard, and letting him develop, and Chelsea really having more options. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited by this renaissance of Willian's career? Do you think it's really beneficial for the young players? Do you think he's just trying to get a new contract and he's going to down tools? I don't think that's the case. But you let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to help me out and you've enjoyed the content, please do like the video. If you want to join me and the other members of the GOAT gang in the Discord server chat, you can join via Patreon for one dollar and you can chat to me and loads of other Chelsea slash football fans uh, in the server. So come and join us and also why not follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. Right guys, that's me done for the day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I let me, baby.